How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. When we first came up with the idea of beautiful cricket grounds, this one right behind me was very top of the list. Welcome to episode seven, Darum Shalal. Now we've made this video in partnership with the absolute legends at Batfar Sports, who teamed up with Altia Strategic Consulting to install one of their state-of-the-art batting simulators within the stadium at Darum Shalar. So Batfar's mission is to increase global participation in sport through the use of technology. And so we're delighted to give millions of cricket fans in India the opportunity to step into their shoes of those Indian cricket legends like Tendulkar, Gorli, Dhoni and Gavaskar and face some of the greatest balls in World Cup history. After an overnight flight to Delhi, we headed north towards the Himalayas and landed at the breathtakingly beautiful Kangra Airport. The adventure had begun. Driver Rocky took us up the windy hills through stunning scenery until, out of nowhere, HPCA Stadium appeared. Now we've been told so many stories about this stadium with many of you commenting saying we should film an episode of Beautiful Green Grounds there and it definitely lived up to the hype. We then watched a bit of New Zealand training and caught up with Black Caps assistant coach James Foster. Loving it here. I mean, it's comfortably my favourite ground in the world. I'm his first time here and it's absolutely stunning. Great setup, great nets, stunning ground. A really good game the other day against India. Unfortunately, we came second, um, but really good atmosphere. Um, Interesting the fact that the match got stopped due to, wasn't sure if it's cloud or mist, which, you know, that was the first for everyone. A great experience and having a great time at the World Cup so far with the Black Caps. We also met Alex, Black Caps fan and absolute badger. He's touring India with his friends and family and he's loving it. Mate, it's just been unbelievable last couple of weeks. This, this country is just wonderful. The hospitality, everyone you meet here is just pumped to see you, pumped to support and, and to follow your, your, your cricket team around the world is just a dream come true. Well, lucky enough, you know, blessed to come from a country like New Zealand, watch cricket in a place called Queenstown. We've got lovely boutique grounds, Hagley Park. Uh, in Tauranga as well, the Bay Oval, but look, you got the Himalayas there. We're going to sit on the, the West End today. Himalayas, cricket, New Zealand, Australia, you know, the old enemy, and hopefully we can get one up and then one up again on the rugby later. Unbelievable. Then it was time to find some food. We'd heard about this magical place called McLeod Ganj, home of the Dalai Lama, so we headed into the hills to check it out, stopping briefly to watch this epic game of backyard cricket. <laughs> On our way back down, we saw that HPCA Stadium were rehearsing their light show for their final World Cup fixture, and it looked absolutely unbelievable. Then it was time for Australia and New Zealand. Now, for obvious reasons, we couldn't film any of the World Cup match, but it was great to see so many people of all ages and abilities having a go in the Batfar simulator. And hopefully some of these photos of the stadium do it justice. The stadium is an architectural wonder, inspired by Tibetan culture, sitting 4,000 feet above sea level and surrounded by snow-capped mountains. Now, I've seen many comments about the state of the outfield at Dharamshala, but what many people don't realize is they've recently installed Bermudan grass, which is extra durable during the tough winters in the area. So if you're tempted to leave a comment criticizing the outfield or the ground staff, just imagine how difficult it must be to maintain a pitch for IPL games and World Cup games where the temperature regularly drops below zero in winter. Yeah. Pretty tough. After the match, we met a group of monks who invited us to go and play cricket with them the following day. Naturally, we said yes.
it has been a vital part of my life growing up and even now I'm 35 still I'm enjoying the game so much. One of the biggest challenges that we face here is due to lack of facilities and uh, also mm, yeah uh, only during the weekend times we have time to play. What do you think the world needs to know about you guys and about cricket being played in Arab Oh my god the passion the passion we have for the cricket is so much I mean um, but you know I mean uh, if there is somebody who can come and then, you know, uh, somebody who come and hunt the talent, you will get a lot of talented players from here. Yeah, I'm sure about that. Currently, we are studying the, uh, about the Buddhism, a philosophy of the Buddhist. Yeah. So we are pursuing our, our course in Institute of Buddhist Dialectics. Yeah. In my point of view, uh, like uh, cricket, yeah, make us uh, physically, uh, you know, active healthy, and healthy yeah. strength and Buddhist philosophy give us mentally strong. Cricket means a lot for us because you know since our childhood we we love cricket. Every whenever we get a free time in a Sunday or the holidays we play cricket. Yeah, we really enjoy playing cricket. In England, yeah, ah. an absolute badger. Okay. A badger is someone who loves who loves the game. Okay. A badger, and you are an absolute, absolute badger. badger. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your help. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> So if you're thinking about visiting Dharamshala, do it. Not only is the stadium the most beautiful in the world, but the local community are incredibly welcoming, generous, and of course, they're absolutely obsessed with cricket. Massive thank you to everyone who made this video possible. We absolutely loved our time in Dharam Salah. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and comment with where you think we should visit next. See you next time.